Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to episode 15 of Sithlonia. So, today, well, I got a couple of things on my mind. So, in the previous episode, we set up our boost factory, which led to an increase of happiness throughout the city. We are now currently, well, fighting against the uh, problematics of consumption of food, as we are currently seeing only a very low amount of stockpiles in the city at any time of the year. So, sheesh, we accidentally made mud walls here the other day. Oh no, I didn't, uh, I didn't mean to do that. But obviously we have now mud houses as well in the town. I mean, mud and stone just look too similar for me. <laughs> Anyways, so I did plan to do a little bit of a military operation today, as I felt like... Well, you should read the comments of the previous episode if you want to know more. There has been a really, really interesting uh, leaflet that has entered, that has uh, been proposed to us. Jokes aside, I really think you should read that comment in the last episode if you haven't done so already. I thank you for the roleplay. And we are going to continue today with a bit of training spots, as I really feel like all this extortion should end, and an army does help us in that regard. And we are going to make sure that all the people that we are currently hosting here will have a roof over their head and a place to live at. So, Sithlonia has grown quite decently over the past 28 years, or well, 27 years. There we go. We are building stone houses nowadays. We, can't, we came quite far, all in all. Let's see if that is going to be enough housing for those people here, or if there's going to be still more requests. Anyways, let's see. The labs are working out as intended, and we got a slow, a, a low amount of immigrants available for us. The most pressing matters now are a bit of a training situation for our military, and more food. As currently, well, what can I say? We're, uh, we're really under, underfed. That's what we are. So we're going to have to put up a guard post here as well, but that'll take some time. Alright. So, let's see. The training ground. We're going to put the training ground probably underground. That would be an interesting idea, don't you think? Let's do this. So we're going to make this back here in this room. There we go. It's going to be our training ground. Entrance will be back here. And let's just say that's the spot where the uh, local Dondorians uh, meditate about the fact that we have to give away all the Scythalon each year. It's basically a fight club. Alright, let's go. I think this is good enough. Let's get started with that. This will yield just 14 people working in the military, but I think this is going to be all we'd need. Let's pick up a couple of extra hands, where people always want to come to town, which is, uh, in all honesty, really good for us. But we do really need more workers everywhere. So that new guard post does take its time. That's simply because I don't have that many leather armor producers. I think I could do a better job in that regard, but... I honestly feel like I don't have to either, as this uh, guard post will come together over the time. It's no biggie. So, meanwhile, let's uh, let the population grow a wee bit more. We really do need better, uh, better income of food, so let's see if we can do something technology-wise. So, our husbandry methods could be used to improve our yields on the on the pastures yet again. We already did that once though, so it'll get more costly from here on. What a shame. We could increase the Scythalon mining, but that is not giving us more food, but I just realized that this would be an option too. 
and we can go for grain production increase, but I don't think this will change anything in our current situation. Yeah, we're, we're going to go for husbandry methods here. As I really feel like the city is relying so hard on its uh, on its food production that this will come in handy very, very much so. We might be also researching some refrigeration techniques or anti-spoilage, I should rather say. But, uh, well, we are already at some point with the conservation techniques. Things are getting costly tech-wise. All right. So for this year, I don't really want to put up any extra projects here as we already have so many on the shoulders of our people. We've got the training grounds in the making, we got yet another woodcutter in the making, and we got the guard post. So, well, the guard post is just a thing where we're waiting for all the leather armor to be completed, but yeah. I don't think I need a tech that increases my output of grain, though. If anything, we would need some uh, extra power up on our bakeries. There we go. The woodcutters are now fully staffed out. That's what I like to see. Let's pick up more people. And let's make sure that our production rate keeps up with our consumption rate. I mean, of course, we could also employ uh, a technological boost onto the fisheries. <sighs> but I don't know. And my, my, my gut feeling says that Cithlonia would need more fisheries for a technological advancement of the uh, fisheries would pay off. That is my personal tummy feeling. Not quite sure if that's right. But, uh, well, it's what I feel. Okay, so we're going to upgrade our roads a little bit in the city. As I feel, Siflonia has really outlived its uh, dirt roads by now. At least the old city core I want to uh, furnish up now with uh, with stone roads. I mean, the, the, the nice side effect is that not only do they uh, move faster over stone roads, they also get happier from that. You know, with Songs of Six, people get happy from everything, basically. Any form of advancement in this game makes people happy. It's why I like, why I love this game so much, also, as it, to me personally, reflects the... Uh, it, it is a very realistic thing. It uh, reflects reality quite well. That's what I wanted to say. So we still have a lot more production versus consumption. It is just that all the food stuff that we're producing is spoiling darn fast. So whenever we uh, want to put up uh, storages, they're just spoiling. That's what's happening. Now, we got two bakeries running, and they're both upgraded. There is not really much that we can do in that regard, except for changing our recipe to coal. We should do that. This is increasing the output, as you see here. While not more efficient in its use of grain, it produces batches faster. That means it will produce more bread in the same amount of time. At least that's how I read it. Let's see if this uh, does actually... Um, come together like that or not, but we'll see about that. Let's see. I mean, I constantly see that big stockpile of grain lying around, and I feel like, yeah, we could definitely uh, do something with that. This is just lying around and doing and serving no purpose. I don't like that. On the other hand, though, I feel like we should really try and get ourselves a warehouse here going back here where the woodcutters are doing their thing, right where the, uh, where a guard house is sitting. You know, it's always a good spot to put a warehouse up. It's well guarded this way. Okay, so I just want to have a warehouse where we can put down wood and all the other things that we're going to make here. I could imagine that the paper making industry might be, uh, might be, um, getting its headquarters here as well, would be absolutely uh, viable in my opinion. Okay, so we have a couple of crates here. Of course, let's keep going with the stone buildings. We are outgrowing our old wooden building times. I mean, 
I will run out of stone at some point eventually, I'm afraid, but uh, that day ain't today, so we are going to keep going like that. All right, our conscripts conscript are now training below the mountain. Not uh, only Dondorians, but also humans. As a matter of fact, it's all humans, as of now. But uh, these guys will not... Uh, they, they are basically a joke. They are just getting slapping training. And we need to gear them out accordingly. But uh, it's a start. It's a start. We're going to configure their uh, training later down the road. But not now. Right now I'm more interested in getting the guard post online here. And uh, monitor that the warehouse construction goes down accordingly. And let's see. Our bakeries did not speed up their production at all. All right, we have a drought. Well, luckily we have so much grain um, right now that I don't think this will hurt us tremendously. All righty, there's finally the guard post coming together. So criminality might finally go down. I mean, we had we had a murder recently, so that's something we really got to take seriously, I think. There we go. So that's employing eight of ours permanently again, but I think it's absolutely worth it. Wonderful. So with that, we should be hidden the criminal criminality uh, quite quickly because we got now a nice coverage of uh, justice here pretty much all of the city is somewhat covered here there's no uh, justice back here in the Cithalon mine but uh, you know that's not necessary the guild doesn't need everything and doesn't need to know everything that happens back there Did you agree so let's see oh yeah here you see the effect of the drought the ground is extra unfertile fertility drops due to moisture reduction or moisture drops per yeah oh boy yeah there goes there goes the uh, harvest down Ooh. well all right like i said good thing that we got so much of the grain uh, stored up in front oh there you got it, stockpiles. Ain't bad at all. But this also leads me to the point that I don't dare to expand Cephalonia right now, as we uh, currently are a little bit in a tight spot. No? It's a little bit, uh, a little bit unfortunate. But whatever, we are going to deal with that. So, import depot number five. I want to go now and import myself some other very um, valuable and sought-after material. Oh, by the way, what is... Uh, how is the janitorial um, reach? Sorry. Sorry, Icon, I had to interrupt you, but you're... You need, a, you need another janitor. Okay, Icon. That's disturbing you. You must... You shouldn't know how it's uh, looking inside of my head. Now... Jokes aside, we need somebody to take care of these areas, and I, and I realized that just in time. We are going to make that janitor also a stone building. I love it that you nowadays can just uh, reconfigure it like that. And let's pick up the people. So we're getting uh, really, really close here. And I think one of the smartest things that I can come up with is to just uh, copy pasta another bakery, as this is, in all seriousness, the best way to deal with our food problematic right now. So, we're going to put another bakery there. Why not? Yeah, I think this is a good spot. I mean, the big thing here, what's happening is quite simple. We are not getting the grain fast enough processed. So we could have more of a food stockpile if we'd be producing more food. Genius, isn't it? 
So, the new warehouse. We're going to put up a uh, wood stockpile. And we're going to upgrade it. So the stockpile is going to be majestic. We are going to set up coal. And, oh, I need to, uh, I need to configure my coal imports now. So, yeah, something like that. Oh, that's less than we got right now. That's not quite right. So, let's do something like that. We got a lot of money, so I don't need to worry about that too much. But at the same time, I do intend to start charcoaling. So, this is necessary as a stockpile here, you see. We're going to make paper back here as well, once the time is right for that. But, yeah, that, that time ain't yet. There we go. So, racking in the stone roads. Oh, dang. I, I really love these. Oh, building, not racking in. Sorry. My English isn't Englishing as well as I wanted to to English. Okay, so the janitor is done any moment, and, uh, well, happiness isn't too high. So let's check out what's bothering our folks. So we had an issue with the criminality, but that uh, stopped. People are kind of sad because there's no executions lately. And, yeah, the food days, the food days are surely bothering the Cithalonian uh, populace. So, winter is getting nigh towards its end. That means we are very soon going to pay our darn taxes. So, another thing that crossed my mind lately, we are going to start mushroom farming. You see, we got a big fat mountain area here and mushroom farming does require nothing else besides a big fat mountain area so i think i don't need to elaborate this further okay so janitors do janitor whoa i think the the, the new bakery just uh, just got completed right so what to do about that worker count First up, we're going to reduce the amount of people that make leather armor. Then we're going to reduce the amount of carpenters. And I think with that, we are already complete again. Wonderful. Theoretically, I could reduce the amount of uh, pottery makers here as well. But practically, I won't. As I really do enjoy the um, influx of... Um, oh, or I should rather say the outflux. No, no. I do enjoy exporting that pottery, as since we started that business, the denarius keep flowing. So it's been a very, very good and wise decision to do so. All right. So that extra bakery will be exactly what brings us ahead. There we go. Production rates now way stronger than our consumption rate, and that's what we need. So. Let's see, we are going to make this. So, oopsie, that's not the button. Fetch chests. You might be already familiar with the concept, but since we are setting up a entirely new city part back here, I felt like it is time to go for a little bit of a food stall here. You know, set up the basics. Make sure that this place here is the same kind of little city that we got everywhere. Oh point nine employees. Yeah, well, whatever. I don't mind too much. Then we're going to set up a mini market. Not mat kit. Market. Super keyboard. All right. It's going to be very miniature, though. But it'll increase the uh, liveliness of this corner by a lot, I bet. So the good part about all this now is that we're uh, 
cranking out so much food now that the uh, Sithlonian populace should be happier by the end of this year. Alone by the amount of stored food. Okay, it is uh, very soon time for the taxes. Not the taxes, sir. Not the taxes. So. We had a really nice, rich bounty of Cephalon this year. It's been a really good year. But now it is time to pay our taxes yet again. Hey, Jaxter. Okay. So 90% of 112, that's, uh, one is, uh, that's, uh, 99, roughly. Let's make it 100. Take this, my good friends, and we are going to increase the amount of workers just by two this year. As we have a little bit of a slow burn growth. Ah, never mind. Let's do no half measures here. Okay. My stockpiles are low. I'm feeling a little bit uh, worried about that, in all honesty. But I don't think we need to. So. Here goes another longhouse. And we're going to pick up a couple of these uh, benches. Oh, look at this. They don't really fit there between and this size, so we're going to make this like that. Here we go. It's not much, not much effort, but it'll get us somewhere. So, finally, I find some time to configure my system here. So, what we are up to? Gems. That's what we're up to. I meant to import some gems because of the fact that this way we are going to be able to build ourselves some high-end things now. Chambers and all the other things. I mean, Cephalonia is soon a 30-year-old city. Seriously. There's something we should be doing about that. So here we are cranking out something around 70 pieces of wood per day. Our consumption here is, let's see, our daily consumption is 295, are you serious? That can't be. I mean, we got, that's a yearly consumption rate, eh? Am I clicking on the wrong thing? Can I see it here, maybe? So, uh... Why is there such a high output for furniture? I think I did lower the amount of workers only, only so recently, but... Well... Anyways, no time to ponder. I think it does work out quite nicely. And we do get our... stuff together, don't we? Okay. So, there is a small fighting force punching down there in the mountain. The thing is, we need to gear them out to make them effective at anything. Currently, they're just uh, punching at dummies and uh, thinking they're now better fighters. They don't even have a real training regimen as of yet, but I felt like that thing down there that's one hell of a cool spot for a training ground. So, oh yeah, let's see those service buildings. Um, we should be really uh, getting somewhere at some point with that. So, no clay. Well, okay, clay, but uh, seriously, not these uh, super expensive things. Really dislike it when the market's... Uh, Fetch stuff like jewelry, you know. Seriously. Okay, 20 free workers. That means I am well capable to uh, set up a little bit more than uh, of that. And here, services. 
the quality of services goes up again. That's what it is. The food preference goes up again. That's because we are uh, providing more bread than before. I know how to keep my people happy here. Except for the Dondorians. They... They do develop kind of a rebellious spirit down here. But, in all honesty, it's not them to blame. It's not them to blame for that. Alright, so, let's see. We got that. I'm really a little bit worried about the timber right now. But I don't need to, as the timber is currently just uh, not being transported into my warehouses, that's all. Let's see, same goes for the stone. Stuff's there. People are just not uh, putting it into the storages, that's all. Good. With that kind of food production, I'm eager to pick up more workers. It does not hurt me in the slightest. Quite the contrary. We're uh, really making ourselves here a nice home. At the same time, I feel really worried about the uh, amount of stone here. But that's mostly because this clear rock job is uh, all of a sudden not attractive anymore. God knows why. With all the roads that we're building, there's really a lot of stone uh, being spent these days. But well, kind of wonder what these 31 odd jobbers are doing if not clearing stone. Seriously. Let's see, can we clear stone here in the city still? It's always a nice experiment. Yeah, there you go. You see, we have boulders still lying around between the, between the buildings here. I always keep being fascinated about the fact how much uh, rubble there's still lying around on a city like that. Alright. So we're buying into gemstone. That'll allow us to build some really nicer buildings among these crypts. But first up, let's start doing the tech revolution. I think I'm going to re-employ the furniture, uh, furniture makers. They really do need that stuff. I'm okay with just one uh, leather armor maker, though. We really don't need them that badly. Let's pick up more people. Like I said, with that kind of food production, we can easily sustain the population, so I don't mind at all. Ah, wonderful. This one has been upgraded directly by a, by copying it already. It's cool. Alright, so where does that leave us today? We're, uh... We got ourselves a new little, uh... Town square back here. It's really something I do appreciate. Tell you what, we're, uh... We're still lacking a speaker. So that the uh, woodcutter's uh, quarter is also up to the uh, up date up to date with the news. So murder. We should really stop enslaving people. I am not okay with that. Enslaving does mean that we need to take care of them. Here, let's increase the execution rate. People love that here. In all seriousness. This guy, um, you're not going to be imprisoned. Um, you're going to be imprisoned and you're going to be executed, my friend. Seriously. For murder, that's just where we are going to go as we are living in medieval times. Also, come on, gonna bump up the happiness. So, my friends, that ends uh, today's episode. I really hope you had a good time. I certainly did. We are going to continue the story of Siflonia in the next episode. On the next episode. Whatever. Feel free to leave me your comments down below. A thumbs up would be appreciated. So the algorithm knows that you like what you saw and recommends it to other people as well. Check out the description box. There's plenty of links to go around. There's my Discord where you can have a nice chat with my frenetic Songs of Six community. Seriously, people on my Discord love that game as much as I do. Maybe even more. And there's also my Twitch, 
where I stream Fridays and Sundays in the evening hours of the mid middle European time zone. And there is, of course, Patreon, Paypal, and Buy Me a Coffee. I'd be super happy if you'd gave them a look. And there's also my channel membership system, which allows you to preview all the pre-uploaded things of mine. And, of course, it's a nice way to support the channel as well. Either way, enough of the ad rolls. Execution happiness. That's what happened. And uh, thanks for watching this video up until the very end. I deeply appreciate Hope you're coming back soon and see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.